Ladies and gentlemen, there have been great wrestlers in Canadian history dating back to the turn of the century to modern day, but for a lot of true Canadian wrestling fans, when this name comes up, two words come to mind, legend and importance. Because when Tiger Jeet Singh was wrestling, he was one of a draw that the world had never seen before. The immigrant experienced directly from Punjab, but his wrestling style, his brawling style, one of the first, not say hardcore wrestlers, but uh, brutes of uh, wrestling into the modern day, has done everything and would be Governor General of Canada by now were not of the politics. <coughs> Some people don't believe his philanthropic uh, efforts should be respected because he's a pro wrestler. He made his money for beating up other people. But for me, Tiger Jeet Singh, again, a top 10 Canadian of all time. Now, born Jagjit Singh Hans, April 3rd, 1944, is an Indo-Canadian professional wrestler. Now, he's semi-retired, and that's saying a lot. He's 70... <laughs> He's 78, and he's been wrestling on and off since the 1960s. Now, he's better known by his ring name, Tiger Jeet Singh, and we'll get into the Tiger nickname very soon. He was known for his elaborate ring entrances and generally performed as a heel. Now, what did he do with these entrances? Well, if you look at the Tiger documentary and the CBC documentary he did with Hannah Gartner a few years ago, he would physically attack his audiences, mostly in Japan. He's revered so much in Japan when you're being struck by Tiger Jeet Singh is almost being touched by God. He generally performed as a heel but turned face in um, uh, some of the key years when he was over Japan. Now, he wrestled there in Japan for 22 years and was the pro, first pro wrestler in Japan to defeat sumo star Wajama Hiroshi. He held Frontier Martial Arts World Martial Arts Heavyweight Championship and headlined the company's flagship event anniversary show in 1992. Now, in the 1960s, he began wrestling and emigrated from his hometown in Punjab to Canada, arriving with get that $6 in his pocket. He traded in Toronto under Fred Akins and eventually signed with Frank Tunney, a Toronto wrestling uh, promoter. Now, 6'5", uh, says, some people say 6'5", but some people say 6'3", 265, solid, 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 handsome as a day is long and as talented as a day is long. A very key match against Johnny Valentine eventually led him signing with Frank Tunney, a Toronto wrestling promoter. Aitkins dubbed Hans Tiger after witnessing his ferocious style of fighting. He made his Maple Leaf Gardens debut in 65 with All-Star Wrestling, uh, taking on all comers as a heel. His first main event in Toronto was a tag team match late that year, teaming with Professor Hero to take on the squad of Johnny Powers and Atlantic Grand Prix wrestling legend Sweet Daddy Siki. He began teaming with Atkins, Atkins in 1966. They began the top team in Toronto by defeating Whip, Whipper Billy Watson and Bulldog Brower for the international tag title in July 66. And Singh and Aitkins wrestled at or near the top of the card through 66 and the centennial year of 67. He also competed on the U.S. wrestling circus, grappling with Sweet Daddy Siki, Andre the Giant, Hans Schmidt, Hans vs. Hans, Whipper Billy Watson, and Bulldog Dick Brower. He defeated Johnny Valentine for the Toronto version of the U.S. title and wrestled Gene Kaniski for the NWA world title in the summer of 67. Now, in the fall of that year, he challenged Bruno Sammartino twice for the WWF Championship. With Wild Bill Curry, he again defeated Watson and Brower to win the international tag team title in 68. Now, in February 71, he's, uh, he's vaunted feud against the legendary Sheik, the uncle of uh, Sabu. He took him on the main event of the first wrestling show in Maple Leaf Gardens history to attract a sellout crowd of over 18,000. Some people say 20,000. I think 20,000 is a better bet. And he just rocked the place, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, again, a heavy cage match. Now, New Japan, 73 to 81. Uh, while visiting Japan in 72, Singh got into brawl with Antonio Inoki in a shopping center. He immediately began wrestling in New Japan in 73 and would feud with Inoki as a result of the incident. Inoki broke Singh's arm in the 74 match, but Tiger later defeated Inoki to win the NWF world title in 75, only to lose it to Inoki three months later. Now, in all Japan, he defeated Saji Saga Sagaguchi in 76 to win the NWF Asian title and remained champion until making a jump to all Japan pro wrestling in 81. 
Singh wrestled in the main event of the joint New Japan All Japan card in Tokyo in 78 with Abdullah the Butcher to take on the Japanese D Dream team of Anoki and Giant Baba. Singh would later team with Abdullah frequently. Now, eventually, Singh defeated El Kanak to win the UWA World Heavyweight title in Mexico in 80, but lost the title to Anoki months later. Singh regained it, uh, but then dropped it back to Kanak in 81. In Toronto, Singh had one final match for Frank Tunney against the Sheik in 77 when he subbed for no show, get this, Dusty Rhodes. Singh eventually defeated Ric Flair in Toronto in 79 and unsuccessfully challenged Nick Bockwinkle for the AWA title at the Gardens. Now, Singh continued to wrestle in Japan in the 1990s and make occasional appearances on indie shows in Toronto. In 1990, he teamed with Inoki to defeat Bing Van Vader and Animal Hamaguchi in the main event of Inoki's 30th anniversary show in Yokohama, where the heel and the star got together to tag up. In the early 1990s, Singh wrestled for New Japan Pro Wrestling. On December 18, 1991, Singh lost to Hiroshi Hase in a match held in the island of Gonajima. <coughs> With Frontier Martial Arts, 92-94, he ventured there uh, to have a bloody feud with Atoshi uh, Anita. Wilson uh, FMW, Singh teamed with Young Sabu, who also accompanied him to the ring. Singh also wrestled in the main event of the first Haishai Ushigan card in uh, Toronto, in, uh, Tokyo in 94, losing to Shiro Kojanika, an about referee, referee by Anoki. Now, in AW, IWA Japan, he was uh, a prominent participant in their King of the, the Death Batches tournament in, uh, in 95. In the opening contest in the quarterfinal round, he forced Mr. Ganasuke into submission while Gunasuke was inside a bed of barbed wire. Singh advanced to the semis where he lost to Terry Funk. Even after dominating the match and throwing Funk into the broken glass, Cactus Jack came out of nowhere and miscalculated an attack with Singh's signature sword on Funk and hit Singh instead. In the finals, Singh interfered briefly and joined Cactus Jack in attacking uh, Terry Funk. Now, in Hustle, Singh occasionally wrestled uh, for the promotion during the 2000s. In July 2008, he participated in Hustle's Grand Prix Tournament. He represented India and faced the former uh, Bob, uh, UFC fighter Bob Sapp, who represented the USA. Now, Singh and his wife have three sons. One of his sons is former WWE wrestler Tara Tiger Ali Singh. Now, the documentary I talked about a while ago, Tiger, which is available on Hollywood Suite, uh, called Tiger, should have been longer, but uh, an hour of uh, great highlights, chronicles his life story from his life in India to his work as a wrestler. Now, there's been some controversy because of his philanthropic efforts. A public elementary school in Milton, Ontario, opened in September 2010, and was named after Singh despite some community concerns about the appropriateness of naming a public school after a pro wrestler. Local author and historian John Schallner II made a presentation to the Halton Board of Education and stressed that the honor should be made based on Tiger Jeet's philanthropy and humanitarian works. Area trustee Donna Danelli addressed his decision, which has been met with some controversy given the violent content of pro wrestling, stated, He definitely makes a difference in the community, and I believe he will be a very positive role model and mentor at that school. He plans to be very involved. Now, in 2012, Singh was one of the recipients of the Top 25 Canadian Immigrant Awards presented by the Canadian Immigrant Magazine. Now, championships and accomplishments, All Japan Pro Wrestling, NWA, Usuki Ida, Frontier Martial Arts, Brass Knuckles Champion uh, for the Heavyweights one time, IWA uh, Heavyweight Title one time, uh, Maple Leaf Wrestling, International Tag Team Champion Toronto Version, Fred Akins once and Bill Curry once, NWA US Heavyweight Title Toronto Version one time, New Japan Asia Heavyweight Champion, uh, Asia Tag Team Champion with Omasaki Yuda, NWA North American Tag Team Title, LA Japan Version with uh, Yumasoka Yida, NWF uh, Heavyweight Title, NWF North American Heavyweight Title, and Greatest Gajan Heel Section 2002. NWA All Star Wrestling, uh, Canadian Tag Team Title, Vancouver uh, Version with Dennis Stamp. Pro Wrestling Illustrated, 
Ranked number 274 of the top 500 singles in the PWI 592. Ranked number 383 of the top 500 singles wrestlers during the PWI year, uh, years in 2003. Tokyo uh, Sports Award, Match of the Year, Abdullah the Butcher, uh, his tag team partner, against Inoki and Baba. Universal Wrestling Association, two-time world champion. World Championship Wrestling Australia, IWA World Tag Team title once with Mr. Fuji, World Wrestling Association, WWE World Martial Arts Championship one time. Now, not uh, not to disparage anybody in WCW or WWE or WWF or WWF, Tiger Jeet Singh would have rolled over anybody he would have wrestled because he was that uh, popular. WCW and WWF of the 80s and 90s uh, if he would have had a Tiger Jeet Singh, he would have sold out every arena going. He is probably the most important Canadian, what he called strong style or hardcore grappler of that era. Because yes, there's been other wrestlers and the Heart Foundation and the Hearts are very strong and uh, the Quebec, the Rougeos and all that. But boys, oh boys, the charisma of this guy. If you were going to look up charisma in the, uh, the the dictionary Tiger Jeet Singh would be it first time I watched Tiger Jeet Singh I was 6 years old when he took on the Sheik let me tell you something ladies and gentlemen the, the word barroom brawl doesn't really do it justice there were, it was like a barroom brawl but in a ring and boys oh boys the fans that he would attack they would basically bless him right after he did it but Hannah Gartner the famous uh, line in the fifth estate he said this is what is this he said this is good this is good he was looking at the tape attacking the, the fans and the fans would freak completely out you know how hockey rinks and wrestling events in Canada you have the, the seats on the floor I've seen events where he's coming out of a van or coming out of some kind of carriage and he literally jumps out and all he starts doing is attacking the audience and I don't know if it's like Japan is a blessing, but again, but yeah, very good on the mic. And you see that Tiger documentary, have a chance, watch it. I think it's available through uh, the Doc Channel Canada as well. It's a very interesting one hour look. Again, a very humble man, a very nice family, a very dedicated Sikh family. But my God, what he's meant to Canada over years. Because we he didn't invent Canadian wrestling, but he perfected it. And he's the link to everybody else of the 70s, 80s, and 90s uh, that have gone on to great success. There be no Kevin Owens, uh, no uh, Chris Jericho, uh, no Chris Benoit, uh, no Bret Hart, uh, all the great Canadian wrestlers were not for Tiger, uh, Tiger Jeet Singh, especially in Japan. Uh, Canadian wrestling, uh, is he is the foundation. He's one of the pillars, that old term again, the pillars of the Canadian wrestling scene. So if you love Tiger Jeet Singh, let us know with a like, comment, subscribe, or share. And don't forget, all the stories about Tiger Jeet Singh are true. Yes, he was that he was that uh, he's that much of a danger in the ring. Not a danger in himself, a very clean wrestler outside the ring. Solid, solid, solid. No steroids with this guy. I mean, you see him work out in the, the Tiger uh, uh, documentary. That was when he was in his 50s, and he's still solid ladies and gentlemen and as a great man too a very very deep thinker and like I said uh, uh, if you ever have a chance to visit his enclave in Ontario I think it's 100 acres uh, you know beautifully built and uh, a, a castle to the Singh legacy thanks for listening bye